Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel y'all. Welcome back to Gemini Empress Tarot. We are going to do a reading for the sign of Gemini. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. A, hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Any negative energies being sent to me or my platform will be returned to the original sender as well as any positive energy. I pray that you have overall abundance, wealth, good fortune. Any blockages that are in your pathway are removed. I pray that you have insight, awareness. Um, you don't repeat lessons, right? Especially generational um, things. You learn from people, your elders, things of that nature and you apply it to your life. You gain proper life skills and or experience that will help you move forward on your pathway. That's what I pray for you, for positive energies, okay? All right, Gemini's healing of any ailment, support, emotional support, financial support, whatever you may need during this time, okay? Gemini, let's get into the announcements first, okay? Our personal readings are still open. If you guys are interested, I would advise you guys to book um, I'm not really sure how long I'm going to keep the link open, okay? But currently, the link to book a personal reading is open. I may not reopen it until way fall or winter 2025. So if you're interested, book now. I am going in which the order it was received. For example, the first few people that book, they'll be getting their reading this week. So for example... Empress, Red, you guys were one of the first two people to book. You'll be getting your reading this week. There is no time frame. I do have receipts and timestamps. So those are the first purchases. You're going to get your readings first. Others of you, you'll be getting it October. You can always email me and check on the status of it. If you're watching from YouTube, you're only going to get the first 10 minutes. If you're watching from TikTok, you're only going to get the first five minutes to, to unlock this entire reading, which is about 45 minutes, you would have to follow me on Discord and or Patreon. The link will be in the description box below. I only offer a monthly and an annual membership, okay? Gemini, you have left your ops speechless. I don't know what the fuck, like a duck. Okay, but yeah, you're letting something be known. You're not the one, two, or three, okay? Heavy energy on your sacral chakra, if you guys want to, I'm sorry, not sacral, solar plexus. It represents the color yellow. It is your third chakra, okay? There are specific things that you guys can do to enhance this chakra, all right? Obviously, you can meditate to 432 hertz. You can also use crystals such as malachite, calcite, citrine, and topaz. What does solar plexus represent? It represents your self-esteem, pleasure, willpower, and personal responsibility. It is located below your chest, okay? That's where your solar plexus is, all right? Now, how do you know you're out of balance? You'll have low self-esteem. You'll have control issues. You'll have manipulative tendencies, or this could be the person that is left speechless, okay? This person has low self-esteem that's been trying to do something to you. They've been trying to control you. They have control issues. We have manipulative tendencies. This person likes to manipulate people's thoughts or environments, okay? Also, it says misuse of power, okay? So the person that has a effed up solar plexus is getting effed up. They were not expecting that, <laughs> okay? Welcome to Libra season. Welcome to Libra season. Justice is king, all right? So um, you, if you guys, you know, you wanna meditate to that 432 hertz, I would advise that just to make sure you keep your solar balanced, okay? Because whoever this was that was trying to control you they have a very much infected solar plexus, okay? Listen to my haters. If you're watching this reading, baby, go heal your solar plexus. It's very much damaged, okay? That 
could be why you have so much karma. That could be why you have things not working out for you. Go work on your solar plexus. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading, guys. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you. What's happening for Gemini spirit? What's happening? I'm getting something about the calm before the storm. So somebody could be anticipating a, a fallout. They're just kind of sitting back waiting, or you are, Gemini. You're waiting for someone to blow up or... Hmm. There's a sense of anticipation here. What's happening for Gemini? Whoa, 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 what is that? What was that? First house flew out, Aries. Self-image, appearance, characteristics, expectations, environment. You have the power, Gemini. The power is in your hands. Um, you could be very unique. You're just being yourself. I don't know if somebody has been trying to make you feel weird because you're being yourself. It says individuality, Aries, fire energy, hand and face. You could have like a very unique face or you could be very exotical, okay? Maybe somebody has been trying to make you leave a bad taste in people's mouths due to you being very eccentric, unique, and or different, but you're just embracing individuality. You're just embracing thyself, okay? So that's a backfire within itself. Just because you're not everyone's cup of tea does not mean you should be banished. Because I feel like that's what somebody has been trying to do. All right. So that's a backfire. This could be an Aries that was doing this to you. Maybe you're very different, Gemini. You could talk different. You can walk different. Maybe you look different. Take it how it resonates. You could eat different food. I don't know. <laughs> But somebody was trying to make it seem like you're so bizarre, you're so something, you know? It's like someone was trying to misunderstand you on purpose, if you get what I'm saying. Like, purposely make you feel weird. Mm, interesting. But you're embracing by itself, so you are the purest form of you because you love yourself, even if it's not the way everyone else is. You get what I'm saying? Like, your uniqueness makes you... That's what makes you beautiful at the end of the day. <laughs> Someone was trying to make you feel weird about that. We have adventurine fortune. Chance is the first step you take. Luck is what comes after. Maybe you're a risk taker, Gemini. Okay. You don't really look at how you could fail. You just don't, you don't mind taking leaps of faith. I feel like. Even if something seems far-fetched, if you truly want to do it, you still do it. So whoever this is, they're the, they're the opposite. They don't believe in just taking chances. They have to know that something is solidified before they take a leap. But see, that's why this person has poor faith right now. It's because they always have to see the outcome before they actually take the chance. They don't have faith. They don't have hope. Hmm. Maybe someone thinks, see, your your hope and your your hope and your faith, which is why you take chances so freely. That's why you're so lucky, because you're so free spirited. You're not attached specifically to the outcome of a situation. You're flowing with the flow of life, like whatever your currency is. I'm sorry, not currency. Whatever your frequency is it's the same frequency of the planet you're just going with the flow something has to do with like a riverbank you're just going with the flow you're not trying to control the outcome see i told you somebody has a whoever is coming up as you're off right now their solar plexus is so damaged this person loves to control and misuse and abuse their power it could definitely be an aries <laughs> it 
and that's why they're experiencing bad luck you can't do that you need to you need to heal yourself it says chance is the first step you take luck is what comes after see someone thinks that you just jump into stuff no it has to do with your faith your hope it's 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 a little bit of both. It's your faith, your hope, and also the help from the universe. See, someone thinks you're just being led blindly. No. Somebody here is, is conspiring with their ancestors, their spirit, spirit guides, as well as the universe to make something happen. You could be a powerful alchemist and or a manifester, Gemini. It's lawn care day, so you guys could hear the, probably hear the lawn more in the background, but yeah someone maybe someone thinks you're lucky or all you have to do is snap your fingers it's it's so much deeper than that you have to truly believe and i'm not talking pretending like you believe like you pretend like you believe in front of your friends <laughs> or you pray for those little first 30 seconds and then you roll over in bed but afterwards you forget your prayer and you don't even remember your prayer i'm talking about you walk in that you walk in what you believe 24 7 it doesn't matter what is against you your faith your hope is still standing it doesn't change and it doesn't waver this is a fake believer so because your faith and your hope is intact and also your ancestors in the universe align with your faith and hope and that's how you're alchemizing this person could think you're doing like some type of practice a spiritual practice no idiot you don't believe it's you you're the problem and your solar plexus is the problem not gemini yeah somebody thinks you're just sitting around get my magic wand like no it's not that sweetie stop watching harry potter it's deeper than that Someone thinks you're just around, swinging around holly, holly wands from the Druids, okay? And if you didn't know, the Druids were the first, I guess you can call it one of the first set of magicians. They stationed themselves in California, which is where they get the name of Hollywood because they used to use branches from holly trees. Holly trees are said to be very magical trees, okay? They would take the branches off of those trees and make it into wands. Literally, that's where they get the whole Harry Potter idea from, okay? So someone thinks you're just around bippity boppa de boo. No, sweetie. <laughs> this is an energy thing. Mm -mm. What was that? Ah, Earth. The earth could be, I mean, the earth could be working with you as well, Gemini. I mean, you could also have like a ancestor that's an earth sign or they have earth highly aspected. Or you do. You could have earth highly aspected such as your sun, your moon, your rising, your north node. Okay. My nose is itching, so I'm onto something, right? It says grounded, practical, responsible, and resourceful. This is you. See, someone is not looking at all of the aspects of who you are. They only want to look at one part of you. They, they're not paying attention to the fact that you're grounded, you're responsible, you're resourceful, you're practical, you take leaps of faith, chance is the first step you take, luck is what comes after. Someone thinks something just rolled into your lap. No. <laughs> like someone is just, they just don't know. See, see, obviously they don't know what it takes. Maybe this, this is somebody that wants to know what it takes to know how to alchemize, and, but they don't have it in them, you know? They're, I mean, let me take that back. I guess in a way, everyone kind of has the ability, but not when you are trying to manipulate another person, abuse their power. Somebody could actually be, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. 